Hello! I know I haven't done something Transformers related in a while, so I figured I'd start that. I'm trying a different format here where I open the toy in front of you, give you my first impressions, and we go through the whole thing and get my final thoughts and all that sort of stuff. Kind of like those tech videos. You got Unbox Therapy, NKBHD, Short Circuit. You don't really see that type of format for toys, and I really like that type of format, so I'm going to try it, see how it goes. Um, I figured I'd start small with Hoist. So here we have Generations Hoist from Earthrise. And this is a figure I never thought would get made because I really, really like Hoist. Take a quick look here at the figure in the box. You can see it's got really nice artwork on the side here. I really would love Hasbro to make 18 by nine uh, 4K images of these because they'd be nice as wallpapers. But the box is pretty standard. You got your Earthrise image on the side. Your back is, you know, standard back tells you it comes with the figure accessories and instructions and that's pretty much it for the box so let's get it open safety first we we'll use the big blade now I haven't bought a transformer in ages so it's gonna be I ripped the box so you got your instructions and your little your little like copyright thing and your warning sheet in all the languages because they stopped sticking. Well, I was going to say they stopped sticking, but they put it on the back of the box there. And oh yeah, and these things with the tech spec decoder on the inside, which we'll take a look at later. And you get hoist. I hit my phone. So he comes in a plastic clamshell. That's per usual, obviously. Oh yeah, and just some general information on this guy. He just came out part of Earthrise Wave 1 along with a bunch of other figures. He's available in the United States for $22-ish, depending on where you look, but he's $22 at Big Bad Toy Store. And in Canada, he's $29.97 on Amazon, and I will have an Amazon affiliate link down below if you want to pick this guy up in Canada, because he's pretty sweet. Why won't his head tab in? There we go. Uh, so there's the figure itself out of the box, and ah, the thing, okay. So he's tall deluxe. He's, he's pretty tall, actually. I really like this. This looks really cool. Um, as I said before, I'm a big fan of G1 Hoist, and I want them to make an official Masterpiece version at some point. They stop remaking the old ones. Uh, for accessories, you get his little, his little hand, orange hand cannon thingy. This camera is very dark. I'm going to have to figure out how to fix that. He has a little hand cannon thingy. Now the instructions, real quick. Oh, I like these. These are so much better than Siege's instructions. Because the Siege instructions were always like dark backgrounds with dark images. And that's not how you do instructions. These are light on light, which is much easier to see. I mean, I know this is just a deluxe and it's, it's not going to be so complicated, but for like the leaders and even the masterpiece figures, movie masterpiece Megatron was a nightmare trying to figure out, that was horrible. Um, anyways, let's quickly get this decoder thing out of here. So it's this little orange red thing, little sheet of paper, kind of similar to the ones you got in G1. So you put it on here and it says, Junkie on. Now, what's really funny is you can actually read, I don't know how well you can see that. You can actually, no, you can't see that. You can actually read what it says right there without the tech spec decoder. <clears throat> But it's a neat little gimmick. It does kind of raise the price a bit, but whatever. Um, these backgrounds are cool though. I really like these. They're neat. Anyways, hoist. Let's take a quick look at it. You can see here, the scratch marks are there, but they're not as prominent as they would be in Siege. So they look pretty good, in my opinion anyways. He's quite tall. Um, I don't have another generation to watch prior to, but here, is my favorite figure at the moment. We have uh, the Last Night Scorn, who's a Voyager. So he's pretty, pretty tall deluxe. And um, you're definitely getting your money's worth out of this guy. 
Gorn fell over. Uh, let's take a look at the articulation really quick. So he's got a he's got a ball joint at the head, rotation at the shoulder, weird rotation. That is really strange. His arms can go out that far. Uh, you do have a bicep swivel and a bend at the elbow, a nice over 90 degree bend, which is really cool. And wrist, oh, wrist swivel, nice. Waist joint, which is kind of limited. Uh, hips can go forward and back, just like that. You got your thigh swivel and a double bend at the knee, which is really, really cool. And then you have the ankle pivot. So that's pretty nice. Let's see if we can get him quickly into a pose here. That's not bad. The feet are a little small, I will say. They're a little, well, I guess he's holding his pose now, but they're a little, little tiny. Anyways, hoist looks really neat. I actually kind of like this. Now let's do the transformation. So there he is in his little truck mode, and I really like this thing. This is actually really cool. Um, the arms kind of hang out at the bottom there a little bit, but that's fine, I guess. It's just a tiny little deluxe. It only costs about 30 bucks. You can connect it to bases and things, but I don't have any of those. I hit my phone again, but it's a nice little truck. Kind of small, kind of compact itself because he's tall, but it looks pretty neat. It rolls sort of okay, I guess. Uh, some of the details here real quick. We do have the nice silver scratching on the front of the hood there, the Autobot symbol. You got the orange on the back, which it's, this is tra basically trademark hoist. You got the orange stripes on the side there, silver front grille. There's a lot of silver paint on this. I'm not gonna lie, there's more than I would have expected. Like, I didn't expect them to paint the wheels because they never paint the wheels on anything, except now they've started painting the wheels on things. And um, I like this more attention to detail. However, this back section here does not, doesn't seem to want to stay together. It's together, but I don't know how long that's going to be for. But yeah, he does have this gimmick here where you can open up these sections and pull the actual bed out, the tow truck bed. So you can connect him to bases and things, or Prime's trailer, or you can cook some wheels onto there, I guess. Maybe you can pull like um, cliff jumper. Um, my only gripe about the vehicle mode is, well, two gripes is one, there's this little gap right here in the um, in the back section, and the hands sticking out of the bottom. They're there, they're fine. They do kind of inhibit the rolling a little bit, and I've pushed them in as far as they'll go but they do scrape a little, so that's unfortunate. But other than that, I think Hoist is pretty neat. Is he worth the 30 bucks though? Hmm, I'd say yes. I mean, it's not like right now you're gonna be able to find him for any cheaper. The next deluxe figures come out in October, at least according to Amazon. So you're gonna be waiting a while if you wanna get this guy and he might disappear by then. Uh, but for $21.99 in the States, I'd say he's a definite pickup. If you like Hoist, then I'd say get him. He's definitely the biggest of the deluxes. He's got the most mass, the most plastic, he's tall. So in my mind, I'd go with yes. Yes to, to, to buying him. He's pretty, he's pretty neat. Oh wait, hang on. Hang on, we have... That's not, what? Okay, we have a problem. Is that a problem? No, okay. So the pin on mine wasn't punched in properly. So so the the side window here lines up flush on this side is actually sticking out a little bit. So that's unfortunate, but oh well. I mean, that's not the end of the world. The toy still functions fine. I hope you enjoyed this new format. The back is on tag again. Ah, that's a bit annoying. I hope that's not a recurring issue. But that is Hoist. I hope you enjoyed that new type of format that I'm gonna try out on more things. The next figure I have coming in for this type of video is, what is it called? Transform Element, no, wait. 
Transform Element TE02 Beetle. I ordered one of those off the Chosen Prime, so that'll be here, I don't know, sometime soon. It's sitting in Los Angeles right now. Yeah, and then I'll go from there. I might pick up some other things. I'd love to reach a thousand subscribers sometime soon, so if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and like the video if you did. Comment, let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you pick this up and like it, or if you're going to pick it up, or if you, you didn't want to and why, I'd be curious to know. Oh my, I, like I said, if you want to get this guy off Amazon, there's an affiliate link down below, so use that, that'll support the channel. There's also Patreon, coffee link, if you want to, you know, if you want to do that. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.